All right, all right, all right. You're going to learn today. What's up, YouTube? So, listen, I bought this van about two months ago, right? The number one problem that I noticed when I got the van and it's been the issue the whole time has been this ignition switch. Let me show you guys what I mean, right? You guys got your Grand 7 keychain? Okay. Let me see. Look. See? Put the key in. Look. This is what I have to do. Every time. Pay attention. Look, still trying to start it. Whew. Hand starts to get tired. There it is. There it is. I have to do that every time I need to start the van. Well, th that's the last time I'm going to do it, you two, because today I am going to replace the ignition. So this is it right here, YouTube. Dorman 924-709. This is the ignition switch for this van. Now, let me explain some things to you guys who are watching this video who's having ignition trouble. When you buy ignition switches for the Dodge Ram, whether it's the van, the pickup truck, or whatever, there's 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 a couple of options you can get this uh this style hold on if this one comes with this one comes with the key well i think they all come with the key but the thing about it is some of them will come with tumblers right so here's the ignition switch here's the new switch you know look at that nice it oh yeah i can't wait all right, so some of these. Oh, here. Okay, so these are the place cards for the tumblers. Um, there is no tumblers in this bag, but some of them will have an option for tumblers. Basically, what that means is that instead of using the keys that came with it, I can change the tumblers inside this lock cylinder and use the original key if that's what I want to do. Now, the only reason why I'm not doing that is because the key is old. So I don't know if it's just that the key is worn down, what's wrong with it, or the tumblers are worn out, whatever, it doesn't matter. Besides, when I bought this van, it only came with this one key. That's it. That's all I have. It's one key for the van, works the doors and everything. So what I'm going to do is because it gave me two brand new keys... I am going to just leave the lock cylinder the way it is. I'm perfectly fine with that. So, I know a lot of you guys prefer to have one key. I, I can take it either way. It, it doesn't matter. But, since it already came with two new keys, the keys work fine. I'm fine with it. See that? Nice and easy. I'm fine with it. But if you wanted to keep your original key, which I know a lot of you guys want to, maybe because of the chip, this does not have a chip key, so it's not important. Um, but I know a lot of you guys want to. What you would end up doing is opening the cylinder up, and then you would pull this apart. You need to lay it out on a piece of paper or somewhere, and you would keep track of your tumblers, right? So you need to place the tumblers from your old cylinder in the same order in your new cylinder and you'll be able to use your old key like i said i'm not doing that all right so youtube to do this job it's not going to take long at all um i'll probably be done in about 10 minutes what i have to do is grab a couple of tools you only need like a torx bit um screwdriver and maybe a flathead and that's it that's it all right so let's get to changing the ignition switch all right, YouTube, so first thing you gotta do, remove the cover for the tilt. But underneath here, if you look, you'll see two holes here. Now on some of the Dodge Rams, on pickup trucks, and maybe some of the vans, there's an extra hole that's like an access hole. If, you're, if your truck has that, you don't even have to take this off. You can just stick something in there to release the uh, ignition switch. But this van doesn't have it. So 
what I have to use is a torque bit screwdriver like this one and get up in there and take it out all right give me a minute let me get these screws out and I'll cut you guys back on all right YouTube I was mistaken there's actually three screws there was one more right here it was right here when you move the handle there was one screw right there it's okay we got it off now that it's off what you're going to be looking for is the release button which should be right here the only problem with the release is that you have to put the car or your truck in the run position in order to get to the tab that is going to as you see you have to put it in that tab that's going to get it to the position where you can pull it out so it has to be in the accessory turn it up a notch hold on <sighs> so glad it's the last day I got to deal with this hold on okay YouTube like this gonna be one of them times it's gonna be a while so let me get this thing released and I'll cut you guys back on. Two hours later. All right, YouTube, I finally got it in the accessory position. So what are you gonna do? You see this hole right here? There's gonna be a release. You know you're in the right place in accessory because then you'll be able to push it in. You can't push it in unless the key is in the accessory position. So now with that being the case, hold on. There's the lock cylinder. That's it, YouTube. Now what you're looking for is this tab right here. See that? See this tab I'm pushing? You can only get to that. I hope I'm in frame. But you can only get to that when the key is in the accessory position. Other than that, it will not work. Now, like I said, I'm not changing the tumbler. So, for me, it's only going to take a minute. You were changing the tumbler. Yes, you do it. Now, what you're looking for, see, there's that tab. I put this back in the run position, accessory position, and now you know you're in the right place because you can push the tab. And you push this in. That's it, YouTube. Now, let's see how fast it starts. That's it. Pull the key out, put the key in. That's it, YouTube. Woo! I am happy, YouTube. That's it. That's all it takes, YouTube. The only thing left to do is put the cover back on and take my Grant 7 keychain and put it, put this key on this ring, and that's it, YouTube. All right, YouTube, that's it. All right? put the plastic cover back on and that's it all right i'll catch you guys on the next video don't forget to like share and subscribe